part of the magic of video games is how they connect us. Whether we're on the same couch or different continents, playing games together can help us build friendships or feuds, lifelong bonds or fleeting alliances. Every year, more of you are building multiplayer games. And it's clear why. Players absolutely love them. And they can offer great retention, engagement, and revenue opportunities. But multiplayer features add a lot of complexity. So today, I'm going to talk about what we're doing to streamline building, launching, and scaling multiplayer games with the Unity engine and pre-integrated multiplayer services. We all know different genres have different requirements. So even seasoned devs often need to rethink their tech stack for each title. Plus, ideas evolve a lot during concept and pre-production phases, which means you might need to experiment with a variety of solutions quickly so you can nail your prototype faster. That's why we created Multiplayer Center. It guides you through the solutions landscape for multiplayer game development, recommending the best tools and services for your project vision. Hirsch here is going to show you the tool in Unity. Now, here's how the Multiplayer Center would help you add a multiplayer experience to our new prototype. First, we need to select a genre. Let's try and make something like Mega City Metro, our massive player scale sample. So in this case, we'll select the shooter genre. We're going to set the number of players fairly high. We'll go with 128. In this case, Multiplayer Center recommends using netcode for entities, our dots networking solution, which comes with additional packages and dependencies like ECS for Unity that you can add to your project with a single click. And this is all backed by inline documentation, samples, and other resources curated for you based on your gameplay specifications. Now, we've already brought these packages down, so we'll click through to the quick start. Here, we can create a basic scene with netcode already set up. We can explore some workflow and network tooling and even start to add some online functionality. Speaking of, the new multiplayer services package further simplifies your workflow, giving you access to a complete set of APIs and tools to integrate online multiplayer features into the game. Through widgets, you can add relay, lobby browsing, quick join, join codes, and VBox voice and text chat capabilities to your scene and start experimenting in seconds. Using this workflow, Hirsch has gone ahead and dropped in a complete, styled multiplayer widget scaffolding along with some mega city assets so we can get up and running to try out an idea quickly. OK, Hirsch, could you also add text chat to the project? Let's see how fast we can do it. All right, we found the text chat widget in the Create menu, and it's dropped into the scene. Hirsch will find a spot for it that makes sense in our UI and apply some styling to the UI elements to match the rest. We'll save the scene, and Hirsch has already beat me to click Play. Now, this will spin up two game clients with the menu we just made. On the right, we'll create a session with the Quick Join button. On the left, we'll browse and join that session. We even start to see our networked objects begin to spawn in. We have a lovely hovering ship. Now that they're both joined, our text chat is connecting up, and we can send our first message. All right, we just added text chat to the scene. Now, all of the UI you're seeing on screen, these are also widgets, added the same way in about the same amount of time. And just like you saw, you can customize them to fit in with your own game UI. Now, we know that setting up your tech stack is just the start. Playtesting, simulating, and hosting test environments is challenging and time-consuming, but critical. With the new multiplayer play mode, you can simulate and test multiplayer scenarios right in the Unity editor. Hirsch is showing us this here in Mega City Metro. Now, we want to run multiple instances of the game side by side so we can test out our ship combat. We simply check how many players we want, and then three separate live windows spin up next to the editor, each running a client of the game already wired up together. Moving our ship on one side moves it on the other. So because it's integrated in the editor, this means 
speedier iterations, immediate feedback, and less switching between tools. So we hope this accelerates your playtesting significantly. We updated Megacity Metro for Unity 6, so you can download it now to start exploring these features. Of course, the challenges don't end once your game is built or even after it's launched. It's impossible to predict how popular a new title will be. So while it's tempting to start with a client hosting solution to limit costs and risks, a client hosting solution can put you at the mercy of host disconnection, bad latency, and limited performance. This is why we're offering a new network topology called Distributed Authority. It's a back-end solution that keeps the state of the gameplay server-side while the simulation is distributed to your player's game clients. Solving seamless host migration and helping you achieve cost-effective, engaging multiplayer experiences. And once you've nailed your player experience and locked in some funding, if your design needs it, our tooling can also help you grow into a ded dedicated hosting solution. I hope you're excited about what you've seen here today. We're investing deeply to expand and evolve our support for multiplayer services with closer editor integration and more learning resources to help you get started. We're removing as many hurdles as we can to simplify the work of creating and running complex games while making it easier for you to bring your players together at every stage of your game. Up next, please welcome Milan Peschel from High Rise Studios. He's going to tell you why the small team of industry veterans went all in on multiplayer services and tools for Dijenheim. Hello, everyone. Um, so great to be here at Unite. First, a short introduction. We're a small, self-funded indie studio of roughly 20 people based mostly in Slovakia. We're new, but not inexperienced. With well over a decade in gaming, working for big names such as EA, Lego, Fingersoft, Nimblebit, and more. Well, while we spent years growing games of others, we really craved creating something which would be truly our own, which leads us to our first game, Dijenheim. It's an action-packed, top-down hack-and-slash roguelike, which you can bun play it a bunch of different ways, whether it's alone or co-op with your friends, with big brawl chaos in all directions. We all know what game devs love and what they hate. They love building games, but when it comes to architecture, building the backbone and servers, they despise it from the bottom of their hearts. At first, <laughs> we tried multiple solutions, third-party asset packs, somehow tried to glue it together into a functional game, and, well, you guessed it, resulted mostly in a lot of stress, a lot of frustration, wasted time, and money. At the end of the day, we actually ended up throwing it all out of the window, but we're lucky enough to be able to replace it with a Unity su suit of services, which allowed us to easily integrate a whole ecosystem into our game, which is already pre-integrated into Unity 6, namely Netcode for Game Objects which we use as a solution for the whole networking and dedicated servers. Multiply server hosting, which is by far our developer's favorite because it spins up the instances of servers for our multiplayer instead of us having to do it on our own. Then there's CloudSafe that stores the progress of all our players and authentication, which we use for integrating our game into online points of sale and other platforms easily and effortlessly. We also use remote config it allows us to do seamless balancing and updates of the game without ever having to push a new build out every single time. On top of all of that, we watch over everything closely using Unity Analytics, Cloud Diagnostics, Event Manager, and SQL Data Explorer. These tools give our game designers an easy, accessible, and reliable overview of everything that happens in our game. And the best part is, it's all under one roof. No clunky, semi-functional, glued-together abomination of countless third-party options. It's all pre-integrated and ready to go. As an indie stu studio, this was a huge game-changer for us. It allowed us for experiencing the big studio possibilities, abstracting away the complexity which devs hate, and allowing us to focus on what we love, the game itself. Stay tuned for Dijenheim, coming into early access on Steam this fall. Thank you. <laughs> 